Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an idea for a cool fidget toy made in code blocks. So let's get cracking. Friends, make sure you start by visiting Tinkercad. Remember, I sign in with Google. Let's go to code blocks and create a brand new code block. Click new design, and we're going to name it Fidget. And I'm going to put my initials because these are 3D printable. So my friends, what we are building is this cool little spinner that prints in place. You can see that this piece in the middle allows it to wiggle. It prints all at once, but because of the gaps we're going to put in as we design it, you come up with a cool little spinner that spins, and then we're also going to learn how to make the outside more easy to grip and more interesting to look at. Friends, when we build with code blocks, we always start by creating objects. The first object we're going to create is called Inside. We're going to build with the cone shape. When you bring out this cone, our top radius is going to be 5. Our bottom radius is going to be 9. And the height is going to be 12. Then make your sides 64. Because the height is 12, we need to move it. And we're going to move it half of that height, which is 6. Next, we're going to set a cylinder on top of it. So bring out a cylinder, open its parameters. We're going to make its radius 5. We're going to make its height 5. And we're going to make the side 64. Find your move command, and we're going to raise it up so it sits on top. The number we need to type is 14, and I've done that math for you. Let's hit play and see what we've built. See how that sits exactly on top. We're going to add another one of those cones. When you open its properties, this time we're going to do it in the other order. So we've got a 9, we've got a 5, we've got a 12, and then don't forget the 64. We need to move it as well, so click Move. And we are going to move it to 22. And then let's make that into a group. And I'm going to make it one color. I'm going to make it a blue. When we hit Play, you can see our object draws and groups. And just like that, we already have the inside piece of our print and place spinner. So now we need to create another new object. If the first piece was inside, then this one is outside. We need to move to the shapes and we are gonna build with a cylinder. When you bring out that cylinder, I need you to type the number 13 for the radius. What this does is gives us enough room to add cool things later. I want the height to be 28. Of course, we're going to make it round with that 64 sides. And we're going to leave the other parts alone. We need to find a move command, and we need to move it up. So that way it's past the halfway mark. So we're going to do 14, because remember we did 28 up here. So now we need to create the cutout part inside. So return to your shapes and grab a cone, but you've got to make it a hole. This time we're going to use different numbers too. We're going to make it one wider, so there's 6, and we're going to make it 10. We are still going to keep the 12, and we're still going to do the 64. Let's be smart about this and duplicate that part and set it down, because we'll use it in a moment. And now let's go get a move. And let's duplicate that move and set it below, because we'll use that in a minute. The first move, we are going to put a 6. We need to put the cylinder in the middle. So I'm going to go back to shapes, and I'm going to grab that cylinder. I'm going to break that apart, and let's change the cylinder numbers. Once again, this radius needs to be 6. That way it matches the other part. And we're going to still do a height of 5, and we're going to do sides of 64. We need to move it to the correct spot. Find your move command. And this time, you're going to move 14. All right, so now we're ready to connect this bottom one, but we've got to switch the numbers. Remember, you need the 10 here and then the 6. Now, once you connect them, make sure they're all holes. And we need to bring out a create group. And friends, when we hit play, we will all of a sudden have the center draw. And then we'll have the outside draw. 
the parts will fall in place and check it out you can see the gaps almost all the way through that are going to allow this to spin after you 3d print it all right friends so right now you've just created the plain one but it's kind of cool if you put your initials on top and it's cool if you've got something to grip around the side so let me show you the fancy way to add those cool pieces in just a moment's worth of work friends let's slide this down just a little bit return to our shapes and find the text when you add the text make sure you make it a hole and then click where it says text and just put your initials I'm using capitals so that it fits and I recommend only using two I'm gonna tell you to change the height to five and then we need to do some moves and scales to get it to work the way we want the number we want to move up is 29 and I'll hit play real quick so you can see it I'm also gonna speed this up so you can see it's up top and it's very large it sticks in just a little bit which is perfect we're gonna fix this with a sweet scale all I need you to do is 0 0.3 0 0.3 and we're gonna keep one for Z let's hit play again and you can see that is sitting up there nice and pretty if we bring out a create group because it's a hole it will cut our initials in just like that let's move down to the outside and make something awesome as well this time we're gonna use the count with I we're gonna go from 1 to 10 counting by ones I'm going to cut out a box you can explore cutting with different shapes there are many ways you can scale and adjust this to turn out pretty sweet just make sure you remember to make it a hole and then you got to make sure your item fits I'm gonna go 3 by 3 by 20 for mine and then we're gonna move it I'm gonna move it negative 12 on Y so this will bring it out to the front of the shape and then we've got to do 15 high so that it's above the bottom right now I'm gonna change this from 1 to 2 so it doesn't repeat as many times and that way we can check our work the cool part that makes this amazing is when we bring out a rotate and change it to axis Z now instead of rotating by 90 because we're going to do 10 of these we're gonna do some fancy math bring out your little math box and put it down below and we are going to do 36 because 10 times 36 is 360 degrees and we're gonna multiply times that variable I this way it'll move all the way around the shape when we're done and then we're gonna bring out a 000 and put it right here now remember this will only happen twice right now so we're testing it I recommend you always test with one small shape see how that's gonna look like that now let's change it from 1 to 10 we'll hit play and watch it go all the way around which is pretty darn slick and then friends the final part is to bring out that create group hit play and check out our new creation that now has grips that make it easier to spin now you can adjust this and play with this say you wanted negative 13 so it comes a little further out now it's sunk in it looks like two millimeters just like that you've sunk it in one millimeter if you gave this shape an edge of two watch how making these little adjustments totally changes how your shape works it is amazing how easy it is to adjust fiddle and play with this cool little spinner let's see which one of these is the width if I change that to four is it wider that way yes it is so that's how you learn which way you're moving things and adjust as you make your own epic print in place fidget toy all right friends so it is a super cool project with so much room for you to explore have fun with this master this multiplication and rotate so you can put anything you want around your shape as you're building this cool little toy friends if you're in my class remember that you need to hit export and we need to export as an STL if you follow the steps for 3d printing under your quick access you will have an STL folder and just make sure you save it with your initials if you make a second version maybe yours didn't work or maybe I tell you something's wrong just save it with your initials and a second number 
Alrighty friends, so if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.